Hi there, Michelle Crafty Servings. We're gonna make some fun and easy um, fabric flowers. We are going to, it's, it's not sewing on a sewing machine. We're gonna sew by hand, but it's really easy what I'm doing. We're actually gonna do some stamping on them. You don't have to, but um, the ones I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing that, so I'll show you that. Uh, I just think they turned out so pretty and they're just gonna be cute. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So hi hey, Cash, he wished you all a happy Independence Day if you didn't see that yesterday. He looked so impressed wearing his bandana <laughs> that he did not want on. But, and he looked like an angry look, but he wasn't. Hi Lisa, how are you? All right, we're gonna go ahead and get going right away. Yeah, oh, Cash wants to make sure that his presence is known here. Yeah, he always looks sad, doesn't he? He always looks sad. He isn't, he really isn't. That's just his face. Good morning, Brandy. Good morning, Donna, Melissa. All right, let me show you the fabrics that I'm using. And we're doing, um, uh, so I'm gonna do two of them. Now I also already did one in a uh, red gingham fabric, which I don't have here. That one I'm gonna show you after, but it turned out really cute. Yeah, I think you better go lay down now. Yeah. So, but these are the fabrics. So these are gonna be fun, a sort of a little bit rustic looking, but just fun. You can, you can definitely do bright and make them really, really cute, make them your own. Um, whatever colors work in your house these are my faves so I pulled I pulled them out it's just and and you can use scrap fabric you don't need a lot to do it all right um, did he get that bandana off <laughs> I took it off of him right after <laughs> you can tell he uh, he didn't bite it he didn't understand it because I don't usually put things on him because mr. crafty servings does not like that and so I got quite the look when I was putting it on them. So is what it is. All right, so, so these are gonna, I'm going to make two centers of flowers. So this is gonna be a center. And this is gonna be center. This is also gonna be a flower. This is gonna be a flower and this is gonna be leaves. All right, so, you know, just, make it your own make your own colors figure out what you like but i've got a little display here we'll put them on that i can show you after you can do them either on sticks you can do them on here i've got a fun little twist at the end with the flower um you see fabric flowers on uh, pinterest all the time but i'm adding a little bit of a twist to them besides some stamping on these because these are plain materials but I'm gonna just add just a little bit something to them that I think is gonna make it extra little cute. So um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this one, now I've got, I've got my, my templates for, for cutting. All right, so I need one center and these, look at my templates. This is my template, the inside of it. The outside of this is a template. This is for the middle of the flower. This is for the outside of the flower. And then I just cut out a leaf. I literally just cut a leaf out. So um, that's how that's how I did it. Do it whatever way. If you need to print one, print one. So okay. So this is going to be a middle, and then I'm also going to do two of them because you need two large ones for the flower you need one center piece and I'm just using a marker and going on inside it doesn't matter I was actually off on that oh that'll work I it didn't go all the way around right to the edges but that'll work so you're going to cut that orange off so it doesn't really matter. Now we're gonna use this one. I'm also gonna get my wipes off so I can wipe off the bowl because my grandsons want to be able to eat out of this bowl yet. <laughs> They're getting a little older, but they'll still eat off of it. Right, so 
wanna figure out where to lift up my baby wipe from. I struggle with this all the time. And I'm going to do two, but all I'm gonna do is trace one circle on here, just all the way around the bowl. And just wipe that off right away. I'm not, this isn't a permanent marker, so it'll come off. These are old close to my heart markers. I've had them over 20 years <laughs> and they still work awesome. Okay, so we're doing two of them. I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna do all the tracing and then we're gonna do the cutting. So again, we're doing two flowers. Okay, this one, this is a huge piece of white just canvas. You can get this from, um, I think that's from Hobby Lobby. You can get this from Walmart, probably the cheapest if your Walmart has. Um, this type of fabric, it's just cheap. It's probably like four ninety nine a yard or something like that. And um, that's and you would get so many out of here. So if you're gonna make a bunch, all right. So just clean that off. Yeah, isn't it amazing that the markers? Are, and you know, a uh, granted. I had them put away because they were with all my rubber stamps from close to my heart and they, they were with all of that. But um, they still, you would think they still would have dried up. Okay, now we're going to do another center one. This is gonna be on one of the flowers. And just use whatever size you want. Find something that you can trace that will make a circle that one and now I'm going to make leaves so I'm doing two flowers so we need four leaves honestly I don't even feel I need to trace this what I'm going to do is just pin it so you certainly can trace it I'm just gonna pin it on um, because it is helpful to have pins if you don't have pins then use double stick tape. Okay, that certainly would work too. Lisa, thank you for the stars. Somebody else sent me stars. Thank you so much. I really appreciate them. They help offset the cost for all the happy mail and stuff I do, but no matter what, I still will do them. Nothing's expected, but I appreciate it. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Now, if you have a pinking shear, which is, I don't know, if, if you're not a sewer, you maybe don't know what a pinking shear is, but it has the ridges. Um, it, it's just ridged all the way around. You can certainly do that. That would make a cute take on it. I'm just using a plain old scissor. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut one more set of two. So this is, this is folded, so that's why I've got, I'm getting two at a time. So and we just need, we need four for these to make our leaves. So two for each one. So that one I'm done with. And just come out. This just gonna be, I, said, I love how these turn out. Um, it, again, you see leaves, fabric, or fabric flowers on Pinterest all the time. I'm gonna add a little twist. You know, first of all, I am gonna add some stamping to it. You don't have to do that. If you have fabrics that you don't want to do that on, fine. But these are more plain, and so I'm going to do it on there. I also am gonna add a twist at the end. Um, it's, when I put it together, I, it's just gonna add a little extra cuteness that I don't know that I've really seen on Pinterest. So, and of course we gotta add a button, right? Okay, so we got our leaves cut out. Let's just cut out oh, this one. Um, stick on, in, in a little while, I'll do a Happy Mail drawing, so make sure you're commenting. And then um, I will do one at the end also. It's probably gonna be another 12 pack of those amazing napkins that I had given away, I think five sets during my live last week. 
They're so pretty. They are also in my Etsy shop. Um, but I'm gonna give some away. All right, that's a center. We only had one from that one, so we're done with that. I'm gonna hand this one away. So this one, we're going to fold this because I need two. You need two large circles for a flower. And I'm just gonna cut them at one time. You can certainly cut them separately. And that's where the pins help. But again, double stick tape would help. If you just put that in between, that would be perfectly fine. Um, if you don't have pins, it just helps hold it together. And this, I am going to cut the trim off because it's, I don't know if it'll be on the front or the back because it's the same, it looks the same. Okay, for me, it's gonna be easier. If I had a big area in front of you, I would just cut it all carefully out of here. It's a little difficult cutting in a small area without shifting your fabric, so that's why I'm doing that. <laughs> Now I can cut it all better. Just follow on the inside of the line. Do everybody have a good 4th of July? I mean, my prayers certainly go out to the people of Highland, Illinois. Um, also there was, in Philadelphia, there was um, things that happened. So just awful. And prayers for all the people that are involved. Yeah, Judy, I hope you'll like my take on the fabric flowers. Like I said, with using this canvas is gonna make it a little different because I'm gonna be able to stamp on here and I'm going to be able to stamp on the yellow one also to make it extra cute, but then I have one more thing I'm gonna add at the end. Um, okay, so that's this is one flower. And I cut the this out this is the last one so let's cut this little this is a middle also just one for the middle well happy belated birthday Shannon I hope you celebrated oh to be 45 again <laughs> I don't think I would do anything over I don't know. <laughs> All good. All good. Okay, we got that. And now we've, we're going to do a double one of this one again because we need two for the flower. Um, the company that's with Grace. Good morning. Um, I don't know that I've seen you on here before with your page name. Welcome if you're newer. If you're not, I might have seen your your regular name. So, you know, check out her page. It's okay on here when I do my lives if you want to post your um, business craft page. Go ahead and do that. Again, it's just easier for me to just cut out a bigger area and then cut it down on a live. Normally I would be cutting it right on this big fabric to try and save as much of it as I can. The one thing I wish I had, which again, it's nothing. I mean, it's, we probably wouldn't have time for it, but so many people go to a cottage. We do that once a year with our family. We rent a cottage. But I'd love to just have one to go whenever you want. I see a lot of people comment that too. I would love that. That would be something. Another place to take care of, right? Yes, you caught me live. And another McLaren Weed Diamond. I don't know that I've seen your page before. So I might have seen your name. Welcome. Just finish cutting this out. These go together, honestly, really quick. Even though we're gonna do some hand sewing, you could 
well, I was gonna say, you could do a version of it with just glue, but I think, I mean, I gather it some while I'm doing it, so you're, I really like being able to do it um, with the string because then you can gather it. You hear my clock, Judy? You know, and I didn't think of it, I don't have my microphone on. Can you all hear me okay? So this is a this is a center and it's plain. So we're going to stamp on this. We're going to take one of each of these and we're going to stamp on these. And then this is the background. We we won't have to on it. We honestly probably could on here, but I won't. It's a little bit dark for the color that I'm using. You might see it, but we're not going to. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to stamp on it again. If you have different fabrics that you don't want to stamp on, perfectly fine. I just wanted to add a little something onto here. So these are close to my heart. I am a creative for them or a maker. It's called a maker for them. This um, set is called Crisp Air, um, the Crisp Air card making and stamp. So you can do, you've got the little pumpkin. And let me show you, some people have questioned. So this set has, it's called die cuts and it has the stamps. So I just, some people have questioned the die cuts. What they basically do is if you have like a, a size, a size looks, I think it's called, um, or a cuddle bug, um, there's different. We have one with close to my heart too, but you can cut out with that metal. You can, it, it has the, the shape. So you can cut out little ones and then stamp on it. Um, I just did this real basic and cute. You, you end up, you can layer it on a card but look at how cute that is. So you, that's what, what it does is cut out the shapes, okay? And that's this one includes the die cuts. Not all of them do, and some of you don't have um, a machine that you can do that on. There's ones that just have stamps. So that's what the die cut is, all right, if you haven't seen that. Hi, Debbie, in Northern Wisconsin. I, that's so, I, like I said, we rent one every year. Last year was a scramble at the end. Okay, so we're going to take this. This is the different stamps that come with that set. And I'm gonna actually stamp right on here. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is the center. Quick and easy, We you get these acrylic blocks and that you have to get. This is a smaller one. If you don't have any, I would recommend going larger so it fits most any stamp you need. But if you have these, you know, go ahead and get them. So this one, this is gonna be the center. I'm just using this one with the little little dots. Can you see that? The little dots. And I'm just gonna put that on here. Now, I've used all these before, but normally if you were going to stamp and you haven't used it yet, you want to condition it. The only thing that means is you put it on here and you get that ink on there. And then you just take it on a piece of paper and just sort of squish it around on it. It's conditioned now, okay? So I'm gonna do that. Now, if you get it around on the edges, you have to be careful of that. Just wipe that off with a paper towel. The larger the block, the easier it is to do it. So, um, but you certainly can use a large block for this. You just don't want to go, um, you can't go smaller. If the, if the stamp comes off of it, you're not gonna be able to do that. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just adding the fun dots on it. I'm gonna stamp off of it too, so it goes all the way off the edges. This is gonna be the center for the white ones. I'm gonna do a little of this. Okay. Isn't it cute? Now you can't wash this, all right? That's the one thing is you can't wash it. This, these will never be washed. So I can do that on there. I'm also going to do, actually so that was there. I'm gonna do a little bit out on here. Thanks for the hearts. I hope you like this. And like I said, it's just cute and easy. 
right, and then you just wipe that. You can use a baby wipe. This is a little towel that you get and you can, um, it's called a chamois. You can wet it and it'll dry crisp. But, and then you just take it off. Now you do have to be careful when you're peeling them on and off that you're not pulling on them so they don't tear because they can tear. Okay, so next I'm gonna take some of these circles. They're just fun shapes. Well, actually first this one because I wanna make sure that I get um, some of these words on here. This is thankful. I'm gonna put that on there. And again, I already conditioned these because I used them going to look at how cute that is so I'll do that in a couple places there's also um, the word blessed we're gonna use well, you know what I'm gonna do this on this one too thank you Teresa for passing me on thank you Sue I appreciate that this one we're gonna put a couple on here also and I'll show you on this yellow it's so pretty on here the color I'm using it it is a close to my heart the stamp pad too it's called mocha mm -hmm. and look at it on there too just it just adds something right it just adds something okay so let's Take that off, and now we're gonna add um, one more word. We have the word on here, blessed, is one of these. This would be so cute in pumpkin shapes, and this even has like a hello, um, hey there pumpkin is one of the words on here. It would just be so cute on pumpkin shapes. All right, this is the word blessed. And then we're going to add some of those ovals. Good morning. Thank you, Darlene. I appreciate it. So if you have stamps, just they're not just for cards or just for scrapbooking. I've done them on wood signs before. I've actually on a lot I've done it. Um, it just adds a little something. Okay, so now we're gonna use these ovals. We'll just stamp a couple places. And you can go off of the edge. And let's see, I have quite a few of these, so I think we're gonna just do one of each. Yeah, Elaine, you can stamp on fabric. It just, you you just won't make it permanent, okay? Um, and using these stamp pads, yeah, it's, it's so easy to do. Okay. This is a little, um, like a gingham? Or, no, this is actually, it's a diagonal. I don't know what to, it's a diagonal pattern. Have fun with it. There's actually some on here, a couple. One of them has words on one of these ovals. Let's do this one. And then we're gonna start sewing them together. These stamps, Debbie, I'm a maker for Close to My Heart. So I don't have the link up there. Just um, I can get you a link if you wanna message me or I'll try and find your comment after. We have tons and tons of stamps and our new catalog just came out. Um, it's just, it, they have just beautiful ones. Um, you do have to like, if I, like I said, if you order the stamps, you wanna make sure you get an acrylic block, you know, large enough to fit the size of the stamps. And usually under the stamps is where it says what sizes would go with it. So you just better off going larger, um, if you're only gonna get one, it, it costs more for a larger one, but at least you won't have to buy a bunch of them at first. You know, I love the smaller ones, but if 
you're trying to just get started, I'd recommend doing a larger one and be done with it. Then you can always get another one. Now here I got some on the edge. I just want to make sure I wipe that off. Um, let's look at how cute that's looking, right? Add one over here. And I think we'll do one more. Now you won't see the middle because that's where you're putting your center. Um, let's do, we did the flowers, we did that. Let's do these little flowers. I've got so much on this one already. I think I'm just going to do just a little bit off of here. So that it's just on that edge. I'm going to do the same on this one. Let's see. I'm going to do one other little one over here, I think, just to, you can make it as full as you want or as little as you want. Okay. All right, I think we're done stamping and now we're going to start putting them together just cute all right let's put that aside muslin wood and you know what i'll show you um i'll show you another flower i did that i used um the homespun and it actually i did it last night and actually today it's sort of curled up some and it looks really really cool and that's a lighter fabric so i mean which whatever works whatever works all right we're gonna put this two get together like this um we're gonna have our leaves and this one this is gonna be in the center of here this one's gonna be in the center of here. And see how you don't see all those dots? I just did some around in that middle. That's how we're doing it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I have, I'm using a thicker string, so I have a, a wider needle to use. If you use a thinner string, you don't need to use that wide, but I like the look of this. Um, I don't even know, it's like probably like a crochet cotton or something. Um, I've had it for so long. The one thing that is a little tricky with it is getting it into that needle. So I do have it a larger needle see if we can do it good if it starts separating that's what actually helps me get it in there better yeah this will be a trick thank you lisa i appreciate it you reminds me of sunny ha it reminds you of eggs all right so i'm just undoing that string a little bit on the end so i can flatten it a little more and i think i can get it in here a little better There we go. And you don't have to knot it or anything because this is, we're gonna be gathering it um, so that it gathers up in between. The one thing that is helpful too, maybe just do one pin right in the middle that'll hold that together. This is all gonna be open yet I'm just gonna start at the bottom because that's where we're gonna tie off our gather and just pull it up. Let me just show you. You leave a length of string so that you don't lose that back end, all right? And you just pull it up through. And then you're just gonna put it back down and back up. And I'm in probably, I'd say about a quarter of an inch. And this is why I like this thick string. Look at how that's gonna look. Can you see that stitch over here? So you just go down and back up. If it's either easier for you to go down, pull it all the way through and then come back up, pull it all the way through, whatever's easiest for you. But we're just doing this simple stitch all the way around. 
Towards the end, we're going to leave a little opening because we do have to stuff it a little bit. And if you want, you could do the outsides of this flower, but I think it just adds to adds to it by having um, the two layers. Now on this one, I did have this wrong. This one, you want to make sure you have the two tops facing up because that's what you're gonna see. You're not gonna see the back of it. Now, depending upon how you're displaying it, I suppose, um, but that's what we're gonna do. Hello, Cassandra. And we're gonna go most of the way around and then we're going to add a little bit of fiber fill in here. So again, you just put it down and then back up and just like maybe about a quarter inch also. So a quarter inch from this edge and then in between the stitches. And that's why I like this string is because you see those stitches. It just makes it cute. They don't have to be perfectly even. Carol, thank you so much for those stars. I appreciate it. All right, other people send stars too. Thank you. I just really, really appreciate that. So, okay. There we go. Now I'm leaving this little bit of opening because now we're going to stuff it. I can take this pin out. I'm gonna go right in between the two flowers. Or actually, no. We're gonna we're going to go inside this top. I have to think of what I did. We're gonna go inside just this little sunny side up egg, right? And you just take some fiber fill. You don't need much. Actually, probably too much. And stuff it in there. It's gonna make just that cute little bump in there. And then you finish. Try and lay it back down flat and finish going around. And that's what's holding in your... Thank you, Stephanie. I hope you have fun with it. I hope you do that. All right. And then the last one we want to end up down. Because we want the, we want the ends down like this so that we can tie it off all right so we've got we've got that and you can see it's gathering some already and you can just pull these strings now and gather it as much as you want okay so it can you can pull it really tight you can just do it loosely And then you're gonna tie a knot. So I'm actually going to, I'm actually gonna do the one the tie and then pull it a little more. You see that? And then we'll tie a knot. Okay, that'll hold that in place. Now on here too, I'm going to take, we have a little, dauber and just on this one just because it'll I think it'll add a little bit to it I'm going to take that and just wipe on here and I'll show you just on the edges and it's going to add just let's see where are we over here we're going to add just that little bit on there and that'll help with like a rustic kind of rustic touch on it but you don't have to do that either. Again, you can do this bright and pretty colors, whatever you like. Do it all the way around. And the last thing we're gonna do is I'm going to fold it like this, okay? You can do this before you sew it, but I, I think because then you know for sure these gathers, or these holes are gonna be in the same place. I'm going to just cut up a little bit of a triangle. 
you just eyeball it. When you get towards the end, you might want to look to see if you're close to where you need to put an extra one or not. Thanks, Lisa. You have a good day, too. Okay, the comfy nest, can you tell me your name? It, I take, oh, with Grace, so Grace. I take it you're Grace, right? I'm not blonde, I am sort of blonde, I guess. I am blonde. <laughs> On days, I'm, I'm more than others. <laughs> well, sometimes you might have a different business name, right? Hi, Deborah. It's all right that you're late, okay. Look at how cute that is. All right, so we got to do a leaf for that yet, yeah, too. All right, I've got some of the ink from the edges on there. Let's just do this one. Now, I don't have enough. You know what? This is probably, no. I should plan better. I need longer string, but then it might not. So I don't have to put it, it on the needle as much because I struggle with that. You can cut where it gathers, right? Yes, absolutely you can. I mean, it depends again, how much you gather. And you can, and you honestly, you could cut all the way down if you wanted. You could do that too. It's really flexible what you could do. All right, let's try and get this. I so said, we're gonna add a leaf on it and then we're gonna add a, one other fun touch oh, besides my button. So we're gonna put the leaves together. but it's just something I think that just adds a little extra and I'll show you how you can display them. All right, it is really hard when you have thicker string. I And I have a needle that has a pretty big hole in it, but just is a little difficult. Let's cut this edge. Okay, let's do this one now. Again, you want the two right sides facing up okay so um not the back so you want the two right sides facing up because as you can see you're going to see a little of this back one and then we're going to put the center this one's just going to be cute and if you have double stick tape if you need to do double stick tape to hold that together and again just start from the back so that that string is in the back Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. Should I tell you, I th this it's funny but sad. Um, when I, I have a texting program, which a lot of you are on, um, or a, a lot, enough. But So I send a text out a lot of times before I go live to let people know I'm going live. Or sometimes if I have a sale going on, I'll send a text for it. I don't do that that often. Um, but I did, I always do a little description on there when I send that text. So right before, you know, all of you that got it, you'll see that it said um, that I'm doing a fun floral craft. I tried using the word flower. It flagged me. It said, it said that, you know, they against explicit or whatever. The word flower. It said, if this is an error, I apologize or we apologize. But do you want to change the word you used? Well, I don't want to get kicked off. I use the word flower. We're making flowers. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Oh, thank you, Sherry, for putting that out there. You are just amazing. If you haven't checked out Sherry's crafts too, oh gosh, you will be so pleased. Check out her page. She does lives a lot more than I do, and every one of them, she just hits it. It just is awesome. So check her out. And she always has all of our back. She comes on so much and helps us out. All right, I'm going to leave that little space open again. We're going to add the little stuffing. Yeah, this one's gonna be really pretty, I think. 
I know, I, I was practicing last night so that I made sure that I knew I was telling you the right way to do it. I knew in my head what I wanted to do, but um, I needed to do it myself. That's all sweaty, it's warm here. All right, then we'll just finish closing that up. Honestly, this probably would be cute even if you didn't put the fill in, but it just adds a little something extra. But I appreciate you too, Sherry. You know I've always told you that on here, that you always have everybody's back. You're just amazing for us. So, and I love watching you. All right, so the last one we're gonna finish up just going down. I'm gonna, I think I have enough for a leaf on here that I don't have to struggle. We're just going to gather it up. And honestly, the easiest gather is do your first tie. And then you can pull. If you pull before you do that tie, sometimes it might tear the fabric, depending on what kind of fabric you have. Just adjust it. Isn't that just cute? You could do this with so many different fabrics. Okay, and then just move your gathers around. And the, um, the tighter the gather, actually almost the smaller this flower is gonna be too. My flower is off center. <laughs> it's off center, it's all right. It's okay, it'll be fine. Thank you for passing me on. I was fine for sharing a cute cartoon, not offensive, later receiving a pop. Oh, did you, Kathy? I mean, you know, it is what it is. I get sometimes there's things and, but, <laughs> That one just like, really the word flower <laughs> is what it is. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and I should fold it. How I told you. I'm just gonna fold it and make our little, little cuts that way. You could honestly do whatever shaping you want with these. You could do it more rounded and round that off on top. You could do it more of a petal shape, whatever kind of cut you want to do, you certainly can do that. Like I said, you can do it before you put it together, but for me, I found it's easier to do it after because then you know that that opening is in the same place on that front layer and back layer. The only thing you have to watch is when you get down towards the end, you want to try and, you know, center. So like I'm at this end, I I think I can, I can just get away with one more, but if you needed to squeeze an extra one in, you just adjust how you're doing it. There, cute, cute, cute. All right, let's do the leaves. I know I had two of, oh yeah, there they are two of them cut. So we're gonna do the same concept on the leaves. Same string, and I wanna be able to see that string. I've never been put in Facebook jail. I see some of you saying that. I know some of some of you crafters. I, at first you, you get really offended, but after a while it's just like, you know, in a way you laugh some, but you know, that affects what you do. All right, so I just started at, and I'm not closing that bottom edge. We're gonna leave that open. Um, I'll close it at the end, but we're doing the same thing that I did all the way around. The only thing is we're not going to gather this. So you can't, you don't wanna pull. If you do pull, you just spread it flat again. But yeah, that affects our business a lot of times. And it's over things that really, aren't offensive. So there's a lot worse out there. So I appreciate that they're trying, but holy cow, <laughs> flowers? And that wasn't even Facebook. I'm sorry, that wasn't even Facebook that flagged that. That was um, my texting software, which is, I think it's community. So um, it wasn't Facebook, so sorry, it's, it's not Facebook. 
Thanks, Janet. All right. See how quick and simple these go together though? All right, so I'm almost ready to put the whole thing together and then we'll add the extra little twist that I haven't seen on Pinterest. I mean, I've seen some of these things. A lot of them don't have the leaves on though either. A lot of them are just the flower, but I think the leaves add a little cute. All right, and I'm gonna do some stuffing in here right away. I know you could probably get it in at the end because we're gonna leave that end, you know, if you get down to here, I'm not gonna do a stitch across. Well, I am, I'm, I, I'm telling the untruth. I am doing a stitch across. All right, let's put this in here. And this you have to, because it's skinny up there, be careful you're not pulling out this original string. Take a little something, stuff it in there. Just have a cute little fawn leaf. Finish it off to keep that fill in. Yeah, usually some things, I mean, I won't even tell you what one of them said because I couldn't believe she, she literally was in Facebook jail for a while because of it. And it was so innocent. It was so innocent. I felt so horrible for her. Um, and she gets it a lot, honestly, and it's really not over anything. All right, I want to make sure I want to get one down. Um, this end part, this bottom part now, we're going to end up putting it... Again, I don't want to really gather this. We're just going to close this up like this. You're not even going to see that, okay? You you won't see that. We're just going to close it up like that. Take that off. One more leaf to sew and then we're done with our sewing and we're going to put together we're going to put one leaf on each one you certainly can do more okay it's cute i see how that's going to go together really cute oh somebody's throwing out more stars thank you so much appreciate that all right let's do one more one more on my needle that I struggle with. Yeah, the add a stitch. And you know what you, what you could do if you don't, the, I mean, you really need to stitch this almost, you, you really do. But like for something like these leaves, you could use your glue. You know, first of all, what I would do to add the stitching is you could use a marker and make your stitches and then glue and with the fiber fill in. You could get away with this, but this, I don't know, this just adds something. You, you could do different things to make it look like stitches, but this is really pretty easy. You just need to make sure you have a wide enough needle for the string you're using if you're using wider string. And I said, I think this is crochet cotton, I believe. I did that one very easily. But I love the color of this with it. So that's why I think it just looks really cute. I love a little plaid stamp in the flower. Isn't that cute? Yeah, really, really cute. Like I said, that's a fall set and I'll be happy. I'm gonna be playing with that. I will be on later today with, um, I'm gonna do a Christmas in July. I'm gonna do an actual Christmas card using stamps and I wanna use, um, a little bit different method where you're doing layering but not it won't go on top of each other so I'm gonna show that I'll come on later and do that so we'll just do a cute card I have to figure it out first but I know what I know the thought process I want to do yeah they do add a fun look thank you for passing me on Lisa so yeah that'll come on later and also um, if anybody's wondering, so last month was my first month actually presenting my Close to My Heart that I joined 
um, there we have a VIP club that you join for $35 for an annual fee and then you get um, you get benefits you get benefits for it you can get free stamp of the month um, you get different things by joining so that I can get you that information I will later but I said anybody who joined last month would be entered in a drawing for um, the stamp of the month that I had was um, time in a bottle and do I even have that over here but I'm gonna do that drawing later during that live too for those that had signed up for the VIP club. And I'll be doing another one this month. I think instead of doing the sign up of VIP, it'll be maybe a $50 order you're gonna be in because all those VIP members wouldn't have a chance otherwise because they already are. So I might be doing a $50 order. So we'll see, I'll, it's, so it'll be another stamp of the month, which the stamp, it's a set, it's a set like these. Ruth, did you get it? Oh, see, and I'm gonna be getting some more today too. I'm excited. Is that shirt one you created? I didn't, it is not, it is not. Um, trying to think of where I got it from. It would either be probably like Walmart or Myers or, or maybe Kohl's. I don't know. It might be Kohl's, I think. I've had it for a couple months now. All right, so well, I'm gonna leave this open. So if you didn't catch how I did this before, you know, catch back earlier. I This is the second leaf I did, so that's why I wasn't really talking through it. Oh, Paula, yep, yeah, I've got, and I think I've got seven names. And I said, I will draw that name on my live later when I do the Christmas card and then I'll post it too. But um, yeah, and it's, I mean, it's a good benefit being a member. So, and, but if you don't wanna be a member, I still wanna figure out how I can still give a giveaway. So that's what I think I'll do. Okay. And by doing, and the reason why I'm doing $50 is because if, if you place a $50 order, not count, counting the shipping and tax, you actually can get this, a stamp of the month for $5. If you're a VIP member, you can get the stamp of the month for nothing if you place a $50 order. So that's why I'm saying a $50, because it's gonna benefit you guys too. All right, that's all we really need to do. We're gonna fold this together again. And you're not going to see this end. You really honestly won't have to fold it. All right, are we ready to put it together? And that's how I've got my dough bowl sitting here, Judy. I'll show you in a dough bowl. And I'll show you, I have um, a, re a Christmas wreath that I got, I think it was at Prime Menards last year, just a green small little green one i leave that in there year round now because i love it it just if if it matches in, matches in your decor it's not really it's just the greens so i'm i've got that under and you'll see it it just adds some cuteness all right so we've got our two leaves we got our flowers you want to see the little twist because i do need to do that now to put this together is we're going to add some juke to it and well of course we're going to add a button oh that's right um, so I'm going to pick out a couple buttons and this one I already have done on it, but let me just show you what I'm going to do with that too. Just get one out of here. So I'm just going to use that one. Actually, I'll do this one. You can do, this one has four holes. This one has two. I'm just gonna do it a little bit similar. And I'm gonna put that through, through the hole. You know, I find, it. this is just a little tip, is um, sometimes like when you're stringing jute or something through a hole or a bead, if you turn it, it sometimes it'll just go right in. 
All right, and I'm gonna do a little knot on the back and I'll show you. So you could either leave the string stick out for a look that way. I'm cutting them off and putting it on because I like just that top part like that. But you can certainly leave it stick out. We'll cut them sort of short so we don't see them. And that's going to be on too. Okay, so we got our two buttons. Now the other addition is jute. And I'll show you how we put that together and how it's just going to add some extra cute. And you need to cut one piece. Well, we're doing two of them, so we're going to cut two pieces. And then we're going to make like a big loopy bow. So start it down. You know, probably about like this is good. All right. I'm going to do several. Several loops. About the same. See, I think that's good. We'll do that. Now, I'm going to end up cutting these strings off. So I guess I don't need to leave them... Um, leave them hanging but okay so we got three loops i'm going to make sure that i have it even on both sides though you hear that it's like aliens all right and then i'm just going to tie that so whatever way you can make a big loopy bowl Yeah, there's a lot of different textures in this. And that's, I love that. Right, and then we're going to take this. We're going to cut them short too because you don't need to see them. All right, and let's do one more. I know, that's how I said, right? It sounds like aliens. <laughs> All right. Like I said, it's just a big loop, sort of loopy bowl. And I want them sort of even though. Put one in there. There we go. That's enough. All right. And then I'm just going to gather that together in the middle. <laughs> I think it was um, our neighbor has a, um, what do you call it? Like a bobcat, like a little bobcat that goes around. Not, not a, not a animal bobcat. Uh, a machine bobcat and he goes around a lot with it, it has a little scoop on the front or or different attachments um and i think that was that it was doing something that it shouldn't be doing it never does that <laughs> so but he's such a good neighbor he does a he does a lot for our neighbors around here he'll help with snow he does all different he enjoys pots and all right so let's put the buttons on first. I'm just going to glue them right on the top. Just a little bit. These strings on my glue lately. Can we do it again? landline phone ha <laughs> no we don't have a landline we don't have a landline is that cute let's do this one this strings a little long back here yet i'm seeing it and honestly if you leave the strings longer and let them hang out that would be cute too you could do that whatever you like 
add a little bee. You put a little bee on here. You could do that. Depending upon your fabric. Thank you, Sherry. The VIP Club, Elaine. Okay, the VIP Club. And, and I have to, and I'll put a link up later when I'm on, but it, if, you, if you're interested, it's craftyservings.closetomyheart.com. Um, you join for $35 annual fee, and you automatically get a $15 credit back towards purchase. You get, um, when you order, you get, so say you have a $100 order, you get $15 back credit all the time. So you get um, percent, you get that 15% each off of each order also. So a $100 order would get you $15 credit towards the following month. So, and it keeps accumulating. So you could end up actually accumulating a lot. There's also exclusive stamps you get um, and uh, an opportunity to get stamps or scrapbook paper. Um, you also get, um, so you can get the stamp of the month for $5. If you place a $50 order though, you get that stamp of the month free. So there's benefits. I mean, you can get the stamp of the month not being a VIP, but then it's automatically gonna be $5 if you do a $50 order. Ruthie, I'm glad you joined it too. Thank you. You know, I appreciate it. I just think, you know, for the $35 for a year and you get the $15 back as a credit right away, that isn't that bad for an annual fee and you get benefits then. All right, look at that. Okay. Let's just add. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to just, this is going to go in the back here and we're going to put the leaf. We're going to actually, we'll put the leaf on it first. Let's do that. That'll be easier. This one right away. Isn't that, that's gonna be cute. Thanks, Bonnie. Okay. Let's add that leaf on. Okay, so now we want these pretty dry and then we'll put them on. And there's more stars out there. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for all these hearts and comments. Oh, you know what? Let's do a random act of kind of strong. I said I would do that before. It's gonna be a 10 pack napkin pack and they're really, really cute. Um, we got Teresa Beard, private message me your mailing address. I'll get you happy mail. And then please do a random act of kindness for someone. And we'll do another drawing at the end. So was, can you use a blow dryer or heat gun to melt your glue strings? Somebody says that, you know, people say that I don't have one out here and I haven't tried it. Um, I'm guessing it would. Sherry has got my link up there too for, for the stamps. Um, for close to my heart. Um, thank you. Appreciate you. All right. Look at how cu cute is that. All right. So I'm just going to glue that also on the back of here. Hot. And you might have to glue up this string a little bit to keep it in place. Add a little there, add a little here. And then I'll also show you, you can stick a stick in here and do the flowers. You know, you see the pots with the fabric flowers in. You could absolutely do that also. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that just the cutest? Um, I'm going to add a little more glue to get this to stay up in place. And just fun and cute. This one.
you're new at crafting, Lisa, well, welcome. There's so many good crafters out there that you can watch that make simple and quick and easy projects. Um, it, it just in, be inspired by, you know, people that are making things or pick, or um, showing you how to do it or pictures. Just be inspired by that. You're in a good place. You're in a good place. It's a great crafting community. Um, some of them come on here and we I try and get on other ones' pages. Like I said, Sherry was on here. Um, there was Grace on here earlier. Uh, there's, a, there's actually quite a few of us that try and catch even replays. Oh gosh, wouldn't the smiley faces in a baby room? That would be so so cute. All right, I'm just gluing this jute up more. What a great idea. What do you do with them if no sticks? I'll show you, Gina. I'll show you that right now. All right. You And you know what? If you don't have sticks, do you have trees outside? Cut, you know, cut sticks out of, you know, some old dead sticks or something. You could do that. Branches off a brush. Um, otherwise, shish kebab sticks or dowels. So let me just show you. Here's a little, little shish kebab stick. You could... Because this is loose stitching around here, there's room in there to put that in between. Now look at how cute that would be in a pot, right? That would be just adorable. So you could do you could do several of them in a pot, different sizes. That is the cutest, so cute. But let me show you an adobo. That's your other option. That's a, that's a great option. So and remember, I said if you were on earlier, I mentioned I used a different fabric. I used a home sun fabric last night to try. I did some stamping on there. It really the stamping you don't really see. But look at how that curled up today. I mean, that's actually really, really cute. It was doing it no different. It just curled it up. So when I got a couple here, I didn't add leaves to these. Um, I didn't add leaves. These, uh, this is my sample. You know what? I'm gonna put the leaf on this one right away. And then I got three of them with leaves and I'll show you in the dough bowl. Now, um, how I said when I have a Christmas wreath that I keep out now all the time in my dough bowl, like I just have that laying in there. It is just a Christmas wreath uh, that was like at Menards or something. They had them all at clearance at the end of the year. I have some more that I cut things out of, but just leaving that in here just adds really, really cute. All right, let's just add this in here. And then we'll put them in the dough bowl so you can see. Thanks, Elaine. Thanks, Marsha. How many of you are going to do it? Um, watch when they go on sale, Sue. They're at Hobby Lobby all the time. Um, and when they go on sale, you'll get them 40% off, sometimes 50, sometimes 60. I got mine at 60% off when I got mine. All right. So all you do, look at, just layer them in here like this. You can even throw this color in here. You know, and if you have more of that you can do, but just put a bunch of them in here. Let's turn that one to get that leaf up. Look at that. Isn't that, that would be just so cute on a table display. Add a few more. But that's where I said, I love leaving that greenery in there. Look at how that looks on there. Just cute. So let me just see if I can leave that up in here and try and, right? I feel like I'm gonna make these with the grand today. Awesome, Ruth. Yeah, they're so easy. Yeah, and you probably, I have stamps that I was with Close to My Heart probably like over 20 years ago, and they were, um, yeah, that was probably like 20 years ago. And so they were rubber stamps then. These are so much nicer, but I still have them and I still use them and they still work. All right. So, um, but the, just the, 
variety that there is now. And like I said, they come on these sheets now and you just stick them on the acrylic blocks to do. Um, like I, said, I will be doing a Christmas one later and I'll be doing the drawing for those who had joined the VIP club that last month for a stamp of the month one. Um, and I have another stamp of the month that I will, it's a, actually, um, I have to look. The stamp of the month for this month is a nautical one. It's really, really cute. Let me just show you one of the things I played with for it was that okay don't look at this because that's that that was the extra that was on a block but I mean there's there's turtle there's the little seagulls I was just playing with a little bit I mean I there's things I would change that's too dark um but there's the little shell so th it's a nautical stamp of the month for July too um I was playing with that so I was playing last night I was having fun Oh, thank you, Sherry. All right, let's do a random act of kindness drawing, and then I'll see you on later. I got to get some orders put together and sent out, and then um, I'll come back on with a Christmas card craft later. And like I said, I'm going to do a layering technique. Um, yeah, Jan, I, so many times I came to a point where I was going to get rid of them, and I didn't. I'm so glad I didn't now, but I still pull them out once in a while. Well, now that I'm back into it, I love, I love these. What size are the circles? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. This was my circle. It It's just short of six inches. So a six inch circle would be good. The middle one is three inches. All right. So that's. Oops. Um, so, okay, let's do another random act of kindness drawing. Debbie Simpson, private message me your mailing address and I'll get you some happy mail. Please do a random act of kindness for someone. Home Goods has nice, okay, good to know, Ruthie. So if you're looking for them, um, Home Goods is, has them. Thank you, Shirley, for passing me on. I appreciate it. So... Um, a tape roll and a child cereal bowl. Absolutely. You find what works for you. I have a circle cutter too. I could do that. I'm actually going to do a fun card too. I've got in my head using just all circles. It'll be just fun and colorful, but, um, no, it works. You find what works, right? <laughs> so, all right. Um, you all have a good one. I will see you. I'm pretty sure this afternoon or else tonight with that Christmas card.